A narcissist is like being with a robot when it comes to relationships. There is no love, respect, connection, or closeness in the relationship to make you feel rejected. They'll treat you like a thing and then throw you away. Sometimes they don't let you have any closeness with them at all, which makes you beg for it and makes you doubt your own worth. They use sex as a way to control and manipulate you. We will talk about this subject in more depth in this episode. As a Swedish psychologist, it's my job to help people get better after being abused by a narcissist. We will talk about seven different ways that a narcissist will say no to your sexual advances in this piece. If you're interested and want to find out more, you might want to think about becoming a member. Your help makes it possible for us to spread information about narcissistic abuse. In the first place, for an ego, having sex is like going to the gym. It's just another way to burn calories. There are no feelings of love, passion, or emotional bond at all. They don't hold hands, kiss, or bear each other. But instead, they hurt you and leave you, making you feel like they are using you. After that, if you try to talk to them or spend some quiet time with them, they'll either leave right away or start talking to someone else. They keep moving on to the next job, which makes the person's experience dull and sad. Another thing is that they leave without giving it a second thought when they're done with you. This is because for most people, the start and end of a personal act are just as important as the act itself. Physical closeness is a certain kind of closeness because of how you start and end, showing love and relationship. And that's what really holds two people together. A narcissist doesn't care about any of this though. You never get peace. Instead, you always feel like you were used and thrown away. When they're done with something, they move right on to the next thing, which could be a meeting, a call with a friend, or an online conversation with someone they don't know. Because it doesn't matter, they leave you so quickly, even on days when they have time. That's very mean. Concerns from the past should not be brought up. You shouldn't feel safe enough to talk about the things that are bugging you with your partner now that you aren't intimate with them, but you are. They don't wait for you to get there when they're done. Their only questions are about your health, whether you need anything, or whether you are done. They are always the center of attention. How does that make you feel today? It's not okay. Intimacy with a narcissist is characterized by this third and most subtle facet of the relationship. In situations where you are not in the mood for it, they force you to do it, but when you are in the mood for it, they desert you. This game of cat and mouse is quite harsh. You are required to be accessible when they are pursuing you, but you will never be able to catch them when you are actively looking for them. How come? The issue is all about power. Even if it means neglecting your wants and making you feel as though your demands are excessive, they need to be in control and dictate the terms and time of the relationship regardless of the consequences. They may label you with unpleasant remarks, such as you're too sexual, or what's wrong with you. And they may also say statements like these. You ought to consult with a therapist. You start to question yourself and think that you might be having a problem as a result of this. The fact of the matter is, however, that you are not to blame for their lack of true affection. When it comes to danger, this is the most dangerous zone. When it comes to establishing trauma ties, narcissists rely on physical intimacy. Not only do they take, but they do not give. An abundance of endorphins, adrenaline, oxytocin, and serotonin are released into your system as soon as they approach close. The combination of hormones in this cocktail calms your nervous system and gives you a sense of extreme relaxation. As for the connection to trauma bonding, what exactly is it? It is the surge of adrenaline that you are looking for, the high that allows you to keep coming back. In order to keep that connection, you will need to give in, follow their lead, and agree with the demands that they make. When you are in a relationship like this, you realize that you are abandoning your own ideals, experiencing an excessive amount of sexualization, and feeling humiliated by their disparaging classifications such as prostitute. Fifth, when you kiss them, it feels as if the devil has made its way into your body. There is a clouding of your intuition, the demon takes over, 
and you discover that you are experiencing a false sensation of passion. In many cases, the initial kiss is characterized by an intensely passionate atmosphere, replete with attraction and connection, and filled with flaming intensity. On the other hand, it is a kiss of deceit, as if someone had poured poison into your system, taking possession of your nerves and brain in order to eventually bring you to your knees. Does that sound familiar to you? They eventually quit kissing, particularly on the lips, and they rationalize their decision by saying things like, Oh, you smell, you need to clean your teeth. Your feelings of rejection and unworthiness are exacerbated by these cutting statements. In what ways have you been affected? Below, please share your thoughts. In the sixth place, they cause a great number of emotional and physical scars for the purpose of satisfying their own sexual desires. When they do this, they push boundaries by asking that you partake in behaviors that you find unsettling or that you completely reject. Do you understand what I mean? You are then referred to as uninteresting. You are the reason our sexual life is boring, some people say, claiming that it makes things more interesting. Why are you acting so strange? Let's have some fun, shall we? You will feel helpless and victimized as a result of this incident. You have a sense of being mistreated and you do not want any part of it. Your consent is not given. Yet, they are adamant. Forget it if you don't. We're not getting close. The way they are rejecting you is through this deceptive discourse that they are using. I've already said that everything must take place according to their terms. In the event that you do not comply, you will be excluded from any form of intimacy. Your willingness to perform and the ways in which they can take advantage of it are the two most important factors. It is not the act itself that is important. Rather, it is their capacity to exploit plausible deniability in order to bring you completely down. I have never done it. We were merely enjoying ourselves. Why are you acting so strange? That is a questionable statement. If they are able to get it elsewhere, they will withhold intimacy from you by convincing themselves that you are not beautiful, that you have gained weight, that you are too thin, that you do not know how to present yourself, that you smell, or that they have simply lost interest in you. This is wrong with you, that is wrong with you. The moment you make an effort to address it, they dismiss you. This compels you to make changes to yourself, such as learning how to dress and improving your look, in an honest attempt to win their approval, but it is ultimately fruitless. They persist in making you believe that it is your fault, despite the fact that they are actively cheating on you. Due to the fact that they are unable to admit the truth, they attribute the lack of interest on you. As a result of their desire for the high and the pursuit, they no longer require or find what you have to offer enticing. They find you less appealing as a result of your availability, which is a selfish and stupid behavior on their part. That's the reality, which is warped. That was the seventh instance. Among these, which one struck a chord with you? Below, please share your thoughts. On the other side, I'll be waiting for you. Let us start the mending process and keep going until we reach a state of serenity.